good afternoon all of you so today we are going to learn something from rtp for ca intermediate advanced accounting paper for this uh, may 22 attempt so this is the question on nbfcs let us go to question number nine we'll do all the other questions also but i'm starting this with nbfcs okay in nbfcs if you read ici study material there are three types of models there are only three models Okay, first one is calculate owned funds and net owned funds. Second one is provisioning prudential norms. How do we uh, calculate provision on standard assets, substandard assets, etc. And the third one is additional provision in case of higher purchase and lease financing. You know, you might have seen that uh, LCD TVs, washing machines, refrigerators. You remember that is third question. That's all. And there cannot be fourth model question in NBFC accounting. Okay, in that already in this uh, rtp they have covered two models so friends if you learn these two models and if question comes from these two models i'm telling you five marks is in your pocket five or four whatever the marks is given that is there in your pocket okay so look here question number nine a calculate owned fund of an nbfc based on the following information okay that means this is not even net owned fund it is only owned fund you remember what is the difference between owned fund and net owned fund? So you will subtract, you know, more than 10% if there is any uh, investment in subsidiary companies in debentures or uh, equity shares by an NBFC. That should be reduced to calculate net owned funds. Okay. So this is owned funds. That means technically gross owned funds. So what they are saying, paid up share capital 200 lakhs. Shall we include paid up, share, paid up share capital? The answer is yes. Put a tick mark on it. Free reserves 150. Tick mark on it. Compulsorily convertible preference shares 50 lakhs. Put a tick mark on it. Revaluation reserve. Cross, cross, cross. Put a cross mark on it. We'll write a note. While calculating owned funds, revaluation reserves shall not be considered and some students feel this is confusing okay pawan sir sometimes they are taking capital reserve sometimes they are not taking capital reserve how to do it pawan sir simple if capital reserve is created out of profits on sale of fixed assets that should be included if that capital reserve is formed out of revaluation of fixed assets which is unrealized that should not be included as simple as this so capital reserve out of sale uh, proceeds and profits of fixed assets that shall be included capital reserves out of revaluation reserve should not be included in owned funds so we'll not take this revaluation reserve 50 okay we'll not take this revaluation reserve 50 then security premium 25 lakhs given put a tick mark we'll take that book value of intangible assets put a star mark oh my god it should be reduced because intangible assets shall not be considered while calculating owned funds. Because it is given, we'll reduce it. Then capital reserve surplus arising out of sale proceeds of assets. Yes, this will be included. 15 lakhs. Okay. So put the heading RTP. We'll solve this. So write down problem number 9A. Calculation of owned fund of NBFC. Calculation of owned fund of nbfc under the trade down paid up share capital paid up share capital this should be included right 200 you can write rupees in lakhs free reserves free reserves 150 free reserves 150 Compulsorily convertible preference shares 50. Compulsorily convertible preference shares 50. Correct? Then revaluation reserve. We will not take it. We will write a note. Security premium 25. Security premium 25. Add. Book value of intangible assets. We will subtract. Capital reserve arising out of sale proceeds 15. Add. Capital reserves 15. Add. Then book value of intangible assets will subtract. Book value of intangible assets. 440 less. Book value of intangible assets 10. So owned funds. 
440 minus 10 that comes to 430 lakhs. This is the answer. Okay, so if they have given this question for two marks, you got two marks in your pocket. But my dear friend, what to do? Not ICI is a strict officer. Capital reserves arising out of sale proceeds of fixed assets are to be considered while calculating owned funds. Revaluation reserves are to be excluded. Okay, so this is question number 9. A. There is question number 9. B also. Let us see what it is. While closing its books of account at the year end, a non-banking finance company has its advances classified as follows. Standard assets, 126,000 lakhs. Rupees in lakhs, they have given 126,000 lakhs. Substandard assets, 10,050. Secured portion of doubtful assets up to 1 year, 2,400. 1 year to 3 years, 675. More than 3 years, 225. Unsecured portion of doubtful assets, 727. Loss making assets, 360. Okay. So, guys, there are three different sets of rates you need to remember. Three different sets of rates. One is for banking companies. One is for NBFC systematically important companies. Third one is for NBFCs non-systematically important non-deposit taking companies there are differences in the rates okay so from banking companies to uh, nbfcs if you are comparing the uh, substandard as uh, substandard assets and uh, doubtful assets the rates are changing when you are comparing from nbfc non-systematically important to nbfc systematically important deposit accepting companies there is only one difference only one difference only one difference what is that on standard assets for big nbfc 0 0.4 big rate for small nbfc small rate 0 0.25 what is big nbfc if it is given that such nbfc is systematically important that means they are having this uh, asset base of more than 500 crores Loans and advances given more than 500 crores. You understand? That is NBFC systematically important. If the advances are less than 500 crores, we call it non-systematically important. That means it is a small NBFC. So simple. I tell my students like this. Big NBFC, systematically important NBFC, big rate 0 0.4. Small NBFC, small rate 0.25%. That's all. All remaining things are same. So, here only standard assets 1,26,000 on this how much you, uh, on this how much you, uh, um, what is the rate you apply is the criteria. You understand? And, and one more thing is, Pavan sir, will they give in the question whether this NBFC is systematically important or non-important? The answer is yes even in study material also do you remember in illustrations they solved one question in both the models if it is systematically important this rate if it is uh, non systematically important and non deposit mobilizing this rate only one line item will change all remainings will say let us see if they have given in the question that this is so and so category nbfc this is big nbfc this is small nbfc based on that we'll take the rate Okay, if it is not given in the exam, better you solve in both the ways. Only one line difference now. Okay, or at least you solve in one model and write a note. It is assumed that such NBFC is so and so NBFC. Had it been the other, I would have taken a different rate of 0 0.4. Like that you can do. So, look here. Uh, they said calculate the amount of provision which must be made against the advances as per NBFC non-systematically important small fellow non-deposit taking company RBI directions 2016 okay okay so on this my dear friends how much we have to take 0 0.25 percent okay so we'll write here asset you need to put the heading statement showing calculation of statement showing calculation of provision provision as per prudential norms as per uh, asset recognition and prudential norms of RBI guidelines. Okay, so we'll take uh, asset and we'll take uh, rupees in lakhs. 
will take rate of provision we take amount of provision in lakhs okay standard substandard standard assets substandard assets then uh, doubtful assets secured doubtful assets secured under that three categories will come up to one year one to three more than three up to one year one to three years please be very 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 careful here there is a difference between the rates of bank and rates of nbfc above three years okay for banks this category will charge 100 here it is only 50 okay then we write doubtful unsecured which is 100 percent loss assets 100 percent so take the numbers as it is 1 lakh 26 thousand here substandard 10 0, 5, 0. doubtful up to one year 2400 675 225 doubtful unsecured 727 loss assets 360 okay here you create 100 percent here you create 100 percent here you create 50 percent here you create 40 percent here you create 20 percent here 10 percent here 0.25 percent okay we'll check the rates once again we'll check the rates with ICI answer i don't want to take any risk here they go 0.25 ha sir correct sir very good 10 percent correct sir 20 30 50 correct oh, oh, oh this is 40 wait hello 30 20 30 50 100 100 correct sir now calculate provision provision is asset value into rate correct huh? Tan, 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 tan. So the amount of provision is three two zero two lakhs. That is the answer. Three two four seven. They they got three two four seven. How come? Three one five. Check one. Oh, this is one zero zero five zero. Huh? Correct. On one zero zero five zero. 10% they got 1050. <sighs> Museum pieces, these people. Huh? 10050 into 0.1 should be 1005, right? Shameless. This is not 1050, this is 1005. Or check the question is it 1050? Correct. So, my dear friends, there is a printing mistake here. That should not be 1050. That should be 1005. Your answer will not be 3247. Your answer will be 3202. This is correct answer. Okay. So, this is RTP NBFC. Okay. We will see the uh, other uh, questions in the next session.